and that shock on the microwaver and there it is so when you are matching dirty threes with microwaver and you're four er with seekers with shocks honestly it's a breeze keep in mind tick three heavy chopper and heavies are not even unlocked on my tech tree good morning uh, good afternoon and yes good evening skull army and friends it's your boy uh, your friendly neighborhood skull crusher and yes we're coming right back at you with another boom beach video and in today's video you know we're talking warship season 35 to the skies and i'm super excited skull army because not only did we hit rank 18 on skull crusher beautiful but we also did it on captain borealis and we did it with two different ways we're talking seekers we're talking heavy chopper rocket chopper and i'm going to show you how we did it we've got a lot of replays to go through with regards to part one and a part two part one being the seeker push into rank 18 and then of course part two being the heavy chopper rocket chopper push into rank 18 so before we do dive on in with regards to the 4ER strategy, the tech tree, and the replays, do not forget to leave a like on today's video if you are new. And yes, you know I'm talking metaphorically. Consider grabbing a stick of dynamite, okay? And then you're going to like that set stick of dynamite, all right? Remember, hear me out. And yes, metaphorically speaking, you will then go run over to that subscribe button. You're going to place that light stick of dynamite beside the subscribe button. You will then run away. And that's right skull army blow up that subscribe button and join the ranks of the skull army today let's do this guys welcome back my friends and of course you know we're going to be starting on the bread and butter here the pride and joy we're talking the main account skull crusher and just like that it was this morning and and there it is and i'm super excited to be able to collect this with you as well my friend so let's do this oh beautiful we're gonna save that nom 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 for our well deserved and earned at diamond chest when we finally get there guys we got two rank 18 chests to pick up yet my brain will be bouncing all over the place nom 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 and two chests right after <laughs> so there we have rank 18 on skull crusher and this is my seeker account seekers have just been absolutely savage for me here on skull crusher so before we do go into the replays and show you how i was able to hit rank 18 on this account i do actually want to talk about a little bit of the tech and uh what i was able to use to support my seeker push on that rank 218 so once again in 2 er here i mean troop damage is of course the most beneficial right there so right off the bat 50 percent troop damage for your seekers and as we do continue going into the third engine room it is nice to have that 50 percent building health for defense but once again it will not affect your offensive seeker hits continuing down the line that troop health would be amazing unfortunately we cannot afford to get it right now so we are still right Right now just relying on that 50 percent troop damage then of course as we do continue critters have been an asset and i mean an absolute asset with regards to distraction and yes of course damage as well but of course more so distraction we're talking literally like 90 percent distraction maybe 10 percent damage here and as we do continue before we branch into four engine room there she is the 100 percent troop damage with the seekers if you plan on competing with seekers offensively without a doubt no hesitation you need that 100 percent troop damage and then get this guys as we do go into four engine room i guess i should point out that we do not have the gunboat energy no that would be crucial that would be amazing to have as well uh, but unfortunately we got to continue sticking to the path there so we've got our max critters we've got our 100 percent troop damage and then of course no 100 percent building health but we will get that eventually and Seekers, max, building damage is at 10%, and then the shocks. We just picked up these shocks when I was on break today. Uh, I believe that definitely helped me on the push to rank 18 with regards to that 100% troop damage with my Seekers, and then, of course, our max critters, and then, of course, now we've got shock uh, to pin down the defenses. Of course, we are going to be planning on investing into the shocks at some point, but right now, uh, tick one shocks are working beautifully. So, 
As we do go into the log here, first and foremost, look at this, guys. One draw, two losses, and seven wins. We're going to be going through the wins here uh, to give you a good idea of how we've been attacking with Seekers. And, of course, check out the times here. So, 311 to 307. Then we've got 322 to 255 here. 321 to 248. 323 to 245. Two losses back to back. I got smashed. And yeah, this was an insane secret player right here. I got smashed as well. Uh, but we did beat Wang by one second, 321 to 320. Fold in the cheese uh, by three seconds. And then of course, no nuts, another one second win. So we got Wang and we got nuts in my log here. No nuts. And both Wang and nuts were one second wins. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start things off here with our ccf our chinese character friend this was a 311 to three minutes and seven seconds check this out so most of my drops are pretty standard here with regards to there being two ramps on the four engine room layout we do generally start off with two boats of seekers on that left ramp far right side and then we will go back to the right ramp drop two boats of seekers directly in the middle we'll follow back to the left ramp far left side drop two boats of seekers and of course we wait a little bit we want those seekers on that delay drop on the far left side of the ramp to get a little bit up before we go back to the right ramp and do that two boat delay drop on the right ramp far right side and the, that last delay drop is pretty much for that top right engine room and as we do continue after our ccf there we do have a zeal this was 322 to 255 free er there's actually a bunch of three er's in this uh push here but you know what guys i want to show you the fact uh, how to hit three er's if you are four er with heavy chopper and seekers here so this is a three five three boats of heavy, ch uh, heavy choppers five boats of seekers we drop those three boats of heavy choppers first First, wait a few seconds then get those seekers coming out and with that 100 troop damage and shocks now readily available for me in 3 er gameplay you will also be able to have 100 troop damage in 3 er gameplay but it's really those, those shocks that that really make a difference especially considering a lot of the 3 er players are running microwavers and i think we will actually run into a replay uh, or a couple replays in 3 er where the opponent is using microwaver so as we do continue past azeal i believe my arabic friend i do apologize if i get the characters wrong there but this was a 321 to 248 absolute savage time on my end here but i'm still looking for the those high 320 you know 325 or higher uh to really really solidify that win and what do we got a three er with microwaver so this is so this one was actually only two boats of heavy choppers notice how we dropped them on the far right side of the ramp there you know i could have dropped the seekers a little bit earlier here but we really really wanted to time this notice how we've got the critters coming out to clear some of the mines and we're really trying to time that shock on the microwaver and there it is so when you are matching dirty threes with microwaver and your four er with seekers with shocks honestly it's a breeze i mean my seekers did take a lot of damage if we did have that extra troop health obviously they would have survived that much longer uh but even without the troop health they can still easily crush dirty threes with microwavers and as we do continue past our arabic friend here we do have another ccf here our next chinese character friend a beautifully savage time on my end here 323 uh, to 245 so let's check this one out another three er this is the third three er in this push here just like the last attack here two boats of heavy choppers there's the five boats of seekers no microwave on this one but we did have some nasty mines there so i really did want to manage the critter drops there just to clear those mines we cycled our shock two shocks to really take advantage of the fact that we're paying down multiple multiple defenses there's the third shock coming out and look how many seekers we have left at the end there just disgusting i'm, I'm sorry if you're a three er and we matched yeah <laughs> And as we do continue, once again, past our CCF here, we did take our two losses back to back here. Uh, I want to show you this 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 Chinese pro here. This was a, an insane seeker hit here, uh, 322. So this is my opponent's replay uh, on my layout. Check this out. So this was actually five boats of seekers. Six boats, actually. One, two, three, six boats of seekers on that right ramp, far right side. Two boats of seekers, left ramp, far right side. And then with the shocks, pinning down the defenses as the seekers make the wraparound. Critters to come up top to clear the mines to open up the path to the last engine room. The secondary shock coming down to pin down the surrounding defenses. And honestly, that was a very skillful hit. A very skillful hit. So there's there's there are absolute beasts out there using seekers uh that, that clearly know what they are doing. This guy's one of them. And as we do continue there, we're gonna go up against Wang. <laughs> so this was a one second win here. Big shout out to Wang. Uh, but we were able to get the dub. Again, very similar layout to what we've been seeing. Two boats of seekers out on that left ramp, far left side. Sorry, two boats of seekers on left ramp, far 
right side, two boats of seekers on the right ramp, far right side, delay drop back to the left ramp, far left side, we've got those two boats of seekers, and look at that time delay drop back to the right ramp, far right side, we've got those two boats of seekers coming out, now we're cycling our shocks, really utilizing that to our advantage, literally pinning down all the defenses, while that last two boats of seekers are making their way to that top right engine room, that was a beautiful attack right there, beautiful display of execution, let's just say beautiful one more time, beautiful, <laughs> and of course, as we do continue past a Mr. Wang here, we do have victory against fold in the cheese I, I love these names i gotta say it again wang fold in the cheese gnome nuts <laughs> so here we go guys this was 319 to 316 here three second win and again very similar layout this one is rocking the sky shield two boats of seekers on the left ramp mid left side we've got two boats of seekers coming out on that right ramp mid to a right side delay drop back to the left ramp part left side two more boats of seekers coming out to play here and back to that right ramp far right side two more boats of seekers coming out for that last delay drop critters coming out and look at this time shock beautiful pinning down the boom cannon two mortars and a machine gun critters coming out to clear the mines to open up the seekers coming from the left side and they just met at the top right and just like that skull army boom goes the dino my yo we're crushing it with the seekers you guys are going to be really excited uh for the next seeker stream the next stream because we're going to be using seekers hopefully you know things aren't still as dirty but you know things change very fast in warships and of course after folding the cheese this was the boss fight to rank 18 going up against the gnome nuts here another one second went here so seeker pros seeker players are out there uh it just i love the fact that my seeker gameplay is just that much better uh literally one second better <laughs> uh, let's go guys check this one out another very similar layout there two boats of seekers left ramp far left side two boats of seekers on the right ramp far right side delay drop back to the left ramp far left side two boats of seekers coming out and as you can see wait for it back to the right ramp far right side two more boats of seekers coming out with that time delay drop this time we're cycling the shocks as those that last boats of seekers come out pinning down the defenses as they are on their way to that top right engine room critters for support and just like that boom goes the dynamite I, I i love this hit i absolutely love this hit <laughs> and that was skull crusher's boss fight to rank 18 and the seeker push to rank 18 especially let me know what you guys think of the seekers are you using seekers are you not using a seekers uh and i do hope that showing these replays and showing the tech tree with regards to what i'm using to support my seekers uh just will give you the viewer the skull army uh, a better insight of how we were able to achieve rank 18 and hopefully uh you my friend if you haven't a uh, will uh, be able to achieve rank 18 as well with this seeker strategy now guess what skull army that's only part one we're gonna switch right over to captain borealis so we can talk a little bit more about rank 18 with heavy chopper rocket a chopper don't go too far and just like that we switched it over to captain b and i, I kid you not I kid you not. <laughs> uh, rank 18, this time once again. And nom, 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 nom. Woo! Gotta love motorboating a rank chest. Love it, guys. So we just showed you rank 18 with Skull Crusher and Seekers. Now we're gonna show you rank 18 with Captain Borealis and Heavy Chopper, Rocket Chopper. Once again, uh, a beautiful looking log here. Uh, big shout out to McLovin here. Look at that, guys. McLovin absolutely murdered me. Um, his layout was pretty gross as well. So out of respect for my boy McLovin, I'm going to show both replays, mine and of course McLovin as well. Uh, but before we do, uh, Skull Army, go and show you uh, the replays here. I want to talk a little bit more about the tech here as to what we're using to support our Heavy Chopper, Rocket Chopper on Captain Borealis. Now, as we do continue in 2ER here, you can see Rocket Chopper is the start of the show here. Rocket Chopper is the start of the show here. Now, my heavies aren't even unlocked here. So, that, again, my heavy choppers are just there as the meat shield. I'm really just kind of relying on that damage coming from the Rocket Chopper. Of course, we are supporting them with 50% troop damage as we do continue going into 3 engine room. We do have 50% building health. Again, doesn't really help us on the offensive hit, but it does help us on defense as well. Uh, still no troop health on either accounts. No gumboat energy on either accounts here those max level critters are definitely coming in handy it doesn't really matter which uh it really doesn't matter what offensive meta you're using critters just they're clutch they are absolutely clutch uh yeah td baby 100 percent troop damage now on both accounts so we're crushing the 100 td on both skull crusher with seekers and now we're crushing the 100 td on captain borealis with heavy chopper rocket a chopper so as we do break into four engine room here uh yeah we 
we picked up the building health on this account. So we actually do have 100% building health on Borealis. Uh, I'm sure you can notice by the defensive layout here, we're focusing a lot more on defense on Boar, uh, and Skull Crusher is like all offense, baby. <laughs> so that building health is awesome. And as you can see, my heavy choppers are only tick three. I've been using tick three heavy choppers, and I don't even have heavies unlocked. So I hope that gives you some insight as well that I was able to hit rank 20. Uh, I wish rank 20. What am I saying? I was able to hit rank 18 uh, without having heavies unlocked, and my heavy choppers is only at tick three really relying on that 100 troop damage with the rocket choppers and then of course our hit is pretty sick as well so check this out guys i think it's about time we do dive on in to the replays here and show you what we were able to do to crush rank 18 with heavy chopper rocket chopper and again look at the layout here absolutely disgusting here i do want to give a shout out to cobra bomber in sugar ship this is cobra bomber's layout uh minus cobra bomber's got two extra boom cannons i've got two extra cannons instead uh but it still is worth working absolute wonders so here we go guys this was 247 to 217 here i do want to give a shout out to dur 14 and x here uh but all these hits will be heavy chopper rocket chopper and they all literally will go the same way you're going to notice that we've got three bolts of heavy choppers and five bolts of rocket choppers coming out on that left ramp far left aside we cleared the surrounding defenses we cleared the engine room and then we set ourselves up for the reflare going back to the left side and pretty much hugging that left perimeter here beautiful reflare across to target the cannon there critters to add that distraction for those nasty single shot defenses you know we're talking boom cannons we do have another critter box coming over to, to start distracting the boom cannon uh, over here because that is going to be a threat but beautifully we did have a couple choppers actually we directly flared over there as we do cycle some more critters 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 no critters okay no there's the critters i knew there was a critter uh but very aggressive there on that last engine room and even with the time of 247 uh we were still able to pull that off very successfully here and we did take a loss against mclovin now you know i gotta give a massive shout out to mclovin here so first i want to show mclovin's replay so this was mclovin crushing captain borealis and I was very impressed with this hit here. And he's doing the same thing. This is three, five, three bolts heavy chopper, five bolts rocket chopper. But notice how McLovin did this one a little bit different. He approached this one from the left ramp. Sorry, he approached this one from the right ramp. And I think there was a reflare. Yeah, yeah, I've seen this hit before. Critters coming out as well reposition you really want to make sure you get the heavy choppers up front uh you know so they can take the abuse on this hit here my base is absolutely disgusting guys remember we're a hundred percent building health as well but mclovin is just honestly trucking along here doing an amazing job here taking out that engine room at the top right as he finishes off the sky shield there is only one heavy oh sorry two they, they were kind of just like overlapping it looked like one uh there was two heavy choppers left we are soon to be one now we are down to a one but ample heavies on the ground as well there's the critter box coming out distract that boom cannon at the mid left there and an aggressive hail mary with critters for distraction i saw that artillery mclovin i saw that artillery and just like that he was able to pull it off mclovin beautiful hit man I'll get you on the next one, GG brother. <laughs> and then of course, I do want to show you my abysmal 1 of 39 here against McLovin. And the crazy thing is, is his base wasn't even that dirty. Uh, I, I'm going to go times four because it literally took me like two and a half minutes to do this here. But I can show you that the attacks still stay the same. You know, there's the critter coming out. We reflared over. So I'm like, okay, everything's going good up to here. Everything's still going good. Everything's still going good. I think this boom cannon literally ruined it for me. So that goes down. That goes down. So that boom cannon takes out one, takes out another, takes out another, literally took out four. One boom cannon took out four freaking rocket at choppers. McLovin, buy that boom cannon a beer, man. MVP boom cannon. <laughs> Again, abysmally slow on my end because of that dreaded boom cannon. Uh, but you know what? Sometimes that's just the way she's going to go. <laughs> well done, McLovin. Well done, bud. So now, Skull Army, we'll get back on track here uh, with the continued attack. So this was a 3 ER that I matched that literally just retreated on me on the spot. Um, I guess this maybe this 3 ER thought that I had Seekers or I didn't. I don't I don't have Seekers on Borealis. But you know what? I respected the etiquette. I Maybe it was a player that doesn't have instant training, wanted to save the troops, whatever it may be. Uh, I did not battle. I saw that this opponent retreated right away and then I respect the etiquette and I also retreated knowing that I already had the win due to the fact that I had four engine room and the opponent had three. So sorry but you know gg my ccf my chinese character friend and as we do continue to apollo here apollo did fizzle here this might be another th this might be another three er i think we have a bunch of three ers in this one as well no shock launchers shock launchers we, we crushed this one with shock launchers but check this drop out 
So once again, left ramp, we played this one a little bit differently because the ER placement was, of course, a little bit different than what we are used to hitting. Uh, but nonetheless here, we kind of spaced out that drop with the heavy choppers and the rocket choppers to get them going on both sides. And that's exactly what ended up happening here. It's honestly, just turning out beautiful. We got the critters coming out to distract the boom cannon as we set ourselves up for the reflare. New new flare. We've got a disobedient rocket chopper, but somehow the rocket chopper stayed in the uh, fight right there. Look at that push forward. Remember, we still have an engine room in the bottom right uh, corner there, but now we're just like, yeah, we've had enough aggressiveness. There's the reflare follow-up critter for distraction. Minimal damage. You know we're counting on that distraction, but it was more than enough. School Army. Boom! Goes the dynamite. Clutch! AF, my friends. And as we do continue after Apollo, we got Shadow. Big shout out to Shadow here, but Shadow also did fizzle. There's been a lot of fizzlers on this layout here and the layout that I've been running. So again, massive shout out to Cobra Bomber for the incredible layout because honestly, dude, yeah, it's been working absolute freaking wonders for me. Uh, but check this out. I think we left this heavy, we let this heavy chopper just kind of branch off. You know, we had a good split here. One heavy chopper decided to do its own thing. There's the critter box coming out. You know, I was like, whatever. We only really need the two uh, heavy choppers to keep this going here. As long as we can distract that boom cannon with critters. And we were successfully able to do that once we took out that mid-right engine room. There's the reflare to get back up top. Nasty sky shield placement. We are not able to directly flare. No vortexes. Vertexes being exposed here. But once we did take out that sky shield, aggressive flare as the chopper goes down. Boom! Goes the dynamite. That was good. Of course, as we do continue past Shadow... Uh, El Pasi here. Uh, we got crushed. Uh, shout out to you, my friend, El Pasi. Uh, and then we got another CCF here, our next Chinese character friend. 250 to 226. So this was a great hit. Check this one out, guys. So again, sticking to the plan of attack here. This one, once again, switching up just a little bit. Notice how we delayed dropped one boat of heavy chopper, two rocker choppers on the far left side of that left ramp there continuing on that right side. And I think we just kind of let them go across due to the fact that, you know what, yeah, actually, you know what? I think I knew exactly what I was doing on this one here. Once we pretty much took out the two engine rooms, we were going to reflare along the left, keeping it super tight and set it up with an aggressive Hail Mary with a critter toss to distract the machine gun and boom cannons. There's the critter toss. There's the Hail Mary. And yeah, this was beautiful execution right here. And just like that, Skull Army. And as we do continue past our CCF there, our Chinese character friend, we got Leon. Massive shout out to Leon. But again, another fizzler. Uh, it just really shows how, how great this layout is. So again, I think this... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, times two there we go so again we're switching up a little bit here i i think depending on the layout here i think i was picking up on the fact that it's actually a little bit faster i believe for this if they have a couple defenses anchored on the left ramp far left side it really makes it easier to have one heavy chopper two rocket choppers you know as you send three on the er on the left side just to make it easier you know as you then reposition back to the left side and then just kind of push your way up here uh, but again, there's the reflare. You know, we've just got that one engine room underneath the sky shield here. You know, at this point, we just want to make sure we keep the heavy choppers in the fight, manage those nasty single shot with the critters. And as you can see, there's literally like critter box after critter box after critter box coming. There's the aggressive Hail Mary. Heavy chopper, rocket chopper, getting it done, my friends. And of course, after Leon, we've got our next CCF here. This, uh, this is insane. Absolutely insane. I should have lost this. Everything pointed to me losing this i should have lost this we didn't lose it sometimes when the boom gods you know are in your favor sometimes you roll the dice and it just literally rolls in your favor and that's exactly what happened right here uh we walked away you know leaving two engine rooms with 70 percent damage and would you look at that my opponent literally also left two engine rooms but unfortunately only 61 percent damage so i can i can feel i can feel my opponent's pain on this one i can just imagine you know the turmoil you know he was thinking when he was looking at this realizing that he would hate that close that close but nonetheless here i'll show you the replay because you must see this and again this was the nasty layout i was a little bit confused on this one but i decided to go for the left ramp and you'll sorry the uh yeah the left ramp and you'll see exactly what i'm talking about here it took us a while to figure this one out here as you can see like you know we're still scouting we are still scouting here i think i pretty much used most of my scout time because i was debating that right ramp right up until like almost the last second where i was like no no you know what we're gonna go four four you know keep in mind tick three heavy chopper and heavies are not even unlocked on my tech tree which means that the heavies are only level one um and this was all about just management 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 keep the critters keep the heavies at least i knew we were gonna have a nice little line of you know heavies coming around the corner even though we're not really counting on them for damage we're more so counting on them for distraction it's really all about the four bolts of rocket choppers here uh being the real mvps and you know we're losing heavy choppers like crazy here you know heavies are going down as well we got stupid sloppy here we decided to go for that aggressive flare and this is where i guess all that damage decided to come in look how close we were right there 
Look at that, look at that, look at that. The flare ran out and he stopped targeting the engine room. I, I hate it when they do that, but that is an ongoing bug with the rocket choppers. I think it's because there was defenses that were closer than the engine room when the flare expired. Uh, by default, it just targets the next closest uh, defense. Sucks, but, you know, keep that in mind. Nonetheless here, as we do continue past our CCF here, this was Vizine. And again, you're probably wondering, whoa, another opponent that left two engine rooms. And you're right, Skull Army, there is an opponent that left two engine room. A three ER opponent. So not only did we win this one, uh, but then the boss fight to rank 18. And that's right. If it happened to me, there is a good chance, a very good chance that it might happen to you as well. Yeah. We matched a 3 ER for our boss fight to rank 18 on Captain Borealis. So check this out. Pretty nasty looking 3 ER as well. Uh, but we did decide to go 4-4 again. Just because, you know what, I wasn't sure how this was going to go. And I, again, take 3 heavy choppers. Heavies are not unlocked, so those heavies are only level 1 here. Uh, but so far, so good at managing ourselves. Notice how we got the critters there. That was pretty much so that the rocket chopper, or sorry, the rocket launcher would not continue to flank my rocket choppers and just honestly just beat them down over time here. We got stupid lucky here. I want I want you to see this, this aggressive reflare. I honestly thought I was going to lose it at this point right here. So we decided to flare in the corner after a critter toss. And yeah. 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 But wait for it. Wait for it. Wait. There it is. Look at that MVP chopper. One chopper refuses to go down. There's the critter box coming out for distraction as well. We still have three heavy choppers in the fight, uh, but it's it's the rock chopper that pretty much brought that last ER down. And that was beautiful. Once again, sorry, not sorry, but uh, you know, if the boom gods are going to give me a three ER on my boss fight with Captain Borealis, rock on that heavy chopper, rock a chopper, then you know I'm going to take it and run. <laughs> And there we have it, Skull Army. Captain Borealis, rank 18. Skull Crusher, rank 18. And we've done it two different ways here, guys. Let's give a massive shout-out to our local Canadian leaderboard. Uh, Doom, absolutely wrecking it. Austin, wrecking it. Alex, wrecking it. Uh, DK to the 4, wrecking it here. PK, that's Philosopher King, wrecking it. 0AM, Shishka Bobber also just uploaded a video uh, with regards to shocking results and shock launchers. You definitely want to make sure you check it out guys and then of course general electric pirate pete Mentro has been killing it this season guys uh incredible pete absolutely incredible <laughs> keep up the great work man uh zero am again look at that buddy two accounts just creeping up there the crusher no relation to this guy coach chicken honestly doing something right again uh just killing it uh you know keo chris zen buddha crush another crush man never seen that one before May maybe i have before uh we got donkey monkey right there the third zero am even though it's zero am number two but it's the third account you know just pushed a little bit down and here we go guys look at that so we got skull crusher and captain borealis these are both me yes i am 30 and 31 right now on the local canadian leaderboard both the accounts in rank 18 and again we've just shown you that we've done it two different ways so again skull army friends viewers or body let me know in the comments are what your thoughts are with regards to hitting rank 18 two different ways uh are you a fan of seekers uh are you a fan of heavy chopper a rocket chopper uh what is your plan to hit rank 18 and if you have hit rank 18 already massive congratulations uh, and best of luck on your next push and keep crushing it friends keep a crushing it uh, but for now I think we are about time almost ready to wrap up today's video again Skull Army and friends do not forget to leave that like if you are new and yes metaphorically speaking grab that stick of dynamite light it over the subscribe button place it run away and that's right blow it up baby <laughs> join the ranks of the Skull Army today uh, but for now massive shout out to 204 as well but for now, Skull Army and friends, we will officially be wrapping up today's video. Now, I think it's time to make Like a Tom and Cruise. We'll catch you guys on the next stream, which will be tomorrow morning. You know we're talking, what date is it? You know we're talking Friday, June the 3rd, 2022. We're going to stretch a power hour, continue the Seekers, continue the Heavy Chopper, Rocket Chopper. So we'll see you tomorrow morning around 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Good night, my friends. Now I think it's time to make like a Tom. What's up, Tom? To make like a Tom. Oh my God. Now I think it's time to make like a Tom. What's up, Tom? And, cr oh my God. Now I think it's time to make like a Tom. What's up, Tom? And cruise. <laughs>